So welcome to Basin Motorsports. If you haven't been here before, you're probably here because of the wide body build going on right now. What you see in front of you is a Ford 8.8 inch rear end. Now to determine gear ratio, there's a couple of ways to do it. Gear ratio is really a ratio of input to output. So it is the drive shaft connecting to the front pinion here, turning this in relation to the axles on the side. The numerical number is the number of turns of the input compared to the output. So if you're running a 3.0, it's three turns here to one turn here. So what we're gonna do to start this to verify what's in this case is to turn this in comparison to this and see how many turns we get. Now you'll notice that I have the main pinion has a blue tape on the top. The drum has tape on the top also the blue. This is my reference markers of zero. And as I turn this, I expect to see this turn one time. So I'm gonna turn the pinion however many times it goes and see where this comes up to top dead center, the 12 o'clock position. And that should be my numerical number. There's one. There's two. Ah, uh ah. -uh. All right, so by turning this, this comes to almost top dead center here. Now, the pinion input is roughly 2.75 or 2 and 3 quarter. So, knowing Ford has a 2.73 gear ratio, I would assume that this has a 2.73 to 1 ratio of pinion turns to drums. Now, knowing that the ratio appears to be about a 2 and 3 quarters to 1, the only way to really verify that is to open this up by taking off the cover, draining the fluid, and then we're going to look for the numerical stampings of teeth ratio of input to output to verify what the ratio is. So let's get this fluid out of here by taking off the cover itself, and then we'll double check that the ratio between these on the outside of turning it shows me what it is on the inside. All right, so once you have all the fluid drained out, so the cover is taken off, fluid is drained out where it's dripping out, now you can turn the face of this right side up versus being at the back. That way you can read it easier. All right, so now that you have your cover off and everything, you're going to start turning your main gear itself, and you're going to look for these stampings. Now the first number here, if you look right here, this says 273. This is the gear ratio, so this is this number of turns versus that as the input versus output. So the 2.75-ish on the main is correct. It is a 2.73, which is the factory axle ratio. So just remember, the gear ratio is only the ratio between the number of turns on the input and the output. So mark them on the axle itself, like on the drum or the disc brake with some piece of tape, put another piece on the pinion on the front, and then just turn it until the side goes one revolution. That'll tell you how many times the front turns, and that'll give you an approximate ratio. So hopefully that's beneficial for you to help you determine what final gear ratio is on an axle itself. And that's it from Basin Motorsports. We'll see you next time.